Hi guys, it's Carly, and I uh, just wanted to give you an update on uh, what's new in our lives, how James is doing after his surgery, and what I have planned as far as um, both Graham's little baby hospital bag and my hospital bag, what I plan on bringing to the hospital, and um, also how we've set our room up. So let's start with our room. Um, this bassinet is called the Halo bassinet, and James actually got this for me um, in February, so I was like a couple weeks pregnant. Um, but it was on sale, we found it on Craigslist, and I wanted it so bad, so he surprised me with it for Valentine's Day. Um, I loved it because it actually um, presses down, so when I'm getting the baby out, I can just easily grab him out. Um, I loved that it could just rest up against the bed while I was laying in bed. Um, I really am not a believer in co-sleeping. I think that's fine um, if that's something that you guys choose to do. Um, there's no judgment here. Um, that just wasn't a good option for James and I. Um, but I like that this gives me easy access to him. And he's still really close to us. Um, really, really close to us. But I think the transition will be easier when we do move him into his nursery. Um, I wanted to show you it lights up, which is really cool. You can't really tell right now because it's dark, but there's that little r light right there. I'm sorry because it's light, but when it's dark, you can tell um, there's that little light right there, which will make it easy for me when I'm getting out of bed to change his diaper. Um, I was reading somewhere that um, it's good to try to keep the room as dim as possible so you have an easier time going back to bed after you've fed him, changed him, etc. So that's that. There's also some music. Which I think is really nice. Um, James and I sleep with a loud fan on though, so I don't know if we'll compromise on that. It also vibrates. You can hear it. Um, so that's pretty cool. I'm not sure what this does. I really have no idea. If you guys know, let me know. So anyways, it also spins all the way out, side to side. It is just such a cool bassinet. Um, and I was thinking about it yesterday and I actually didn't have a changing station set up in our room. So I wanted to, we had an extra one of these, so I just kind of wanted to set that on the dresser. Um, I have his diapers, wipes, some blankets that I've moved in here. Um, just so in the middle of the night I don't have to go all the way to his nursery to change him. Um, we also have in our bathroom, I'm probably going to install it, have James install it out there. It automatically lights up when you walk in. I don't know. There we go. So in the middle of the night, that's uh, really nice. And I'm going to have James install that. <laughs> right above our door so that'll be good and that way I can see what I'm doing when I'm changing him so let's move on to what I have in my hospital bag uh, right here I have my um, little folder it's easy access so James can give um, our uh, hospital staff our birth plan um, I got these from mamanatural.com. I really like it because it's pictures, so you're not really overwhelming uh, your nurses when you go in there by a big long essay saying how uh, you want to shoot for a natural birth. I don't want to turn anyone off. I want them to know that um, they're my team, and I want us to play as a team and not just go in there being like, don't give me an epidural. We're arch enemies. Um, yeah, so... I just want them to feel comfortable. I might attach some chocolates or something on there. Um, so what's in the bag, I have a comfortable hoodie sweater in case I get cold. Um, I really like this. I got this from my baby shower. It's belly butter. It's awesome. Um, I have some slippers. I have some socks in there. Um, this is full of pads. Um, for post labor and then these are um, pads for nursing that just go in my bra um, I have a gift that I got at one of my baby showers this was such an awesome gift let me see if I can open it um, 
It's full of shampoos and conditioners, body wash, Q-tips, um, deodorant, chapstick, because during labor I heard your lips get really chapped. Um, so that was just kind of cool to receive that at a baby shower, and I'm excited to use that stuff. Um, I also received this PJ set, which is awesome because this shirt is really good for nursing. It has button downs, um, and it's just really, really a comfortable PJ set. So I have that for afterwards. I do have a robe. I have um, the outfit for the next day. And then I do have my essential oils. Um, let's see. I'll show you what I am bringing. I'm bringing some peppermint oil, which is good for uh, labor pains, lavender to relax. Um, then I got some clary sage, which helps kind of progress if I'm not progressing. And wild orange, which is just good for my energy. Um, I have this muscle ball that I also got as a gift last Christmas. Let me switch hands. It's so cool because you can just, I'll show you on my leg. My pants are really hairy, sorry. You can just rub it on where your muscle is aching. So if I'm having back labor, it's just really nice to um, have that option so James can do that for me. So yeah, that's my hospital bag. Let me show you Graham's. So this is his diaper bag and I love it. I love, love, love this. Got it for my baby shower as well. Really nice comfy blanket. Does anyone else ever wonder why they give you those ugly pink and blue striped blankets in the hospital? I mean, at least change it up to something like, I don't know, more modern looking. Those have been around for years. So and I want to take pictures with him in it. I probably won't care afterwards. Um, but I care now, so I'm going to bring it. Same with like a little swaddle. Um, I have baby wipes. Of course, um, I have some diapers in there. And then I have his little outfits. I'm so excited to bring him home in these. I have this hat. It's probably going to go with this shirt which is really special to us because we got this after we found out we were having a boy. Um, since he is coming in the fall, I got a lot of short sleeve clothes, which is great. Um, what I plan on doing is just putting long sleeve onesies under them. So he's kept warm and he still can wear his short sleeve outfits that people got for him. And then I have some socks somewhere for this outfit. I'm not quite sure wear. I'll also put some pants on him with this one. So I just love it. It's so cute. Um, I also have this little outfit. Um, I think I was thinking this hat, but I don't really know if I like how that looks now that I'm looking at it again. Oh, and I think these were the socks I had to go with that one. So there are his first outfits. We'll bring him home um, from the hospital in. And then on the outside of this, I have, what do I have in here? It's been so long. I think there's some nail clippers. Yeah, just like little baby lotion, hairbrush, baby wash. I don't expect to, that I'll need to use any of this while I'm actually in the hospital, but you never know. Shampoo. Little nail clippers. I actually don't know what this is for. Nails? Other more experienced moms? <laughs> if you want to tell me what those are for, I would appreciate it. Um, and I think that is it for his bag. I'm probably going to put a couple more things in there. Uh, oh, another thing I have for myself. I do have some honey sticks. Um, I'll be bringing coconut water and a lot of things um, to eat and drink during labor to keep my energy up. Um, since I do kind of plan on having a um, natural childbirth, um, but if, if that doesn't happen, I'm, I'm open. At this point, I just am open to whatever the Lord has for my labor. So, um, you know, if I have to have an epidural, that's the route I'm going to take. And 
Um, I just want to declare no shame because I think a lot of women, when they say, hey, I'm going natural and then they don't do it natural, um, they feel really um, embarrassed because they've said, hey, I'm going natural, blah, blah, blah. And I've told a lot of people I want to try it natural, but um, just no shame, you know, because I know that labor looks so different for everyone. And the most important thing is that we deliver a he healthy, happy baby. So it might not happen, but I want to be prepared um, for my plan A. Um, yeah, so that's it for now. Hope you guys are doing well. Thanks for watching. Bye.